Do you guys know about purple society garlic? Purple society garlic? Am I yelling? I'm sorry. He's in the tractor. We've been a palm tree. Um, okay, back to the point. Purple society garlic, seriously. What you're not you're looking at here has not been um, color enhanced. This is purple. Purple society garlic. This is so cool. Uh, you can actually use this as real garlic. You just break this off right here and chopped up in little bits. Imagine this purple garlic tasting material on top of your French bread. You could have all your friends over. And you'll be the coolest cat in the neighborhood because you'll have purple garlic bread. I'm not sure what happens once you cook this, but um, no, oh, tastes just like garlic. You know, I eat it. So, you know, you can have this in your garden and if you don't have enough money to buy garlic, you could just use this. Anyway, uh, the only difference is it gets these beautiful pink flowers. It's Tulbagia violaceae. And uh, it makes these little clumps. It's rather drought tolerant and needs some water. You know, inland, uh, I guess eventually in cooler areas that don't get as much evapotranspiration stress on the plant, they could probably uh, naturalize. And uh, when I mean naturalize, I mean like not need any care from humans uh, and rather just grow without water. But uh, it's a beautiful plant. And you can imagine a mass of this all together. If you were to put it all together, uh, it would look really beautiful. I might just bring all this to the nursery. Oh, I'm at my friend's nursery and he grows all kinds of cool stuff. You put anything together like this and you pull the weeds out uh, and you put it all together and mass it and the effect becomes that much more pronounced and amplified. So there you go. There's a special form of purple foliaged society garlic. I think I might buy this. Beautiful.